Hi everyone, welcome to another Teaching Tuesday. I'm in the fitness studio today and I'm gonna help you with your putting setup as we get ready for spring. So setup is a huge part of putting because it dictates the rest of the stroke and how we perceive a putt and how we move our body to that putt. So we're gonna do a couple things. The first thing we're gonna do is make sure the putter shaft is lined up, the putter shaft is lined up with our forearm, okay? So that means you have to hold the putter more in the palm of your hand, not like you'd hold a regular shot, but kind of more into your lifeline or into the palm of your uh, top hand. Okay, so it's gonna look like that. We're gonna put our second hand on however you normally would. And then we're gonna tuck our elbows in so that our triceps are touching our rib cage here, okay? So I'm still standing nice and tall at this point and I've got my putter shaft lined up with my forearms. Okay, after that, I'm gonna just kind of take my feet out to shoulder width. I'm gonna bend my knees just a tiny bit. And then without dropping my arms down, I'm gonna tip over from the waist and then maybe just drop my hands just a little bit so that I'm in this nice kind of comfortable setup position. So it's okay to let the top of the back round a little bit. It's definitely okay and encouraged if you kind of tuck your chin under, make the back of your head up to the sky a little bit. Okay, so we don't want to be in like a full swing posture here where we're rigid and we've got it in our hands. You can see there's some angle here in this. This is, this is a full swing grip, right? And that's not going to be helpful when we're putting. So we're going to go just to reiterate, we're gonna go straight out with the putter on the same line as my forearms. I'm gonna tuck in my elbows, okay? I'm gonna bend my knees and then I'm gonna tip from the waist until I get that putter down on the ground. If the putter is soling and the toe is way up in the air, your putter is probably too long. And vice versa, if the heel's way up in the air, your putter might be too short, okay? So just keep that in mind. It should come down if you do this process kind of flat on the ground and your eye should be kind of right on top of the ball. Okay, from there you can just go ahead and turn your torso, keep your wrists nice and firm, and you should be in a really good position to set you up for a nice stroke and to make more putts this spring.